closed. I know. So, good night. You must be feeling pretty pleased with yourself. Oh, funny, is it? You don't know how? I'm not laughing. Well, that's nothing new, is it? I don't think you're going to get away with this. Get away with what? Don't play the innocent with me. Look, Michelle, it's been a long night. I just want to lock up and go to bed. So whatever it is that's got you going, we just spit it out so I can get on. Who have you told? Told what? I told you, Grant, I'm not in the mood. You're beginning to annoy me. I'm asking you a question. Yes, but I don't know what it is. I just want to know what the damage is. I want to know who I'm fighting. Well, you're fighting. Just get out, will you? What do you know about Mark? Mark? Just tell me what you know and who you've told. Just lock up when you finish ranting and raving, I will you? I want to know, Grant. Are you stupid? I don't know what you're talking you're about. You're a liar. Oh, what's the point? Tell me, Grant. Are you deaf? I just want to go to Have bed. Have at me, but leave Mark out well, of it. Mark up has up nothing to do with what you've got to. against me. Well, nothing. Call the police. You're not shooting your mouth off to About what? That'll be the end of the story. About what? And Ruth will probably lose her job. Who's a job? What are you talking about? Mark isn't a danger to anyone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just shut up. Just shut up and listen. Now watch my lips. I do not know what you are talking about. And why have you been saying what you have? What? I mean, what have I been saying? This morning, what you said to Mark. I'm just being polite. <laughs> you don't know how to be polite. Well, that's where you're wrong. Now, why would I ever go at Mark? When he backed me up, didn't he? Why have you been asking about his health? He took a crack on the head, didn't he? And what you said to me? What? I mean, what did I say to you? You see, Michelle, I think we've been talking at cross purposes. What's your problem, Michelle? No problem. I've just got the wrong end of the stick, that's all. No, you've, uh, you've got me interested. Well, I'm not. Mark. Just forget it, Grant. If I came crashing into your house in the middle of the night, you'd want to know what's going on, wouldn't you? I made a mistake, all right? Well, there's a first. Michelle Fowler admits to not being perfect. Better than being permanently wrong. Oh, yeah? When was I wrong, eh? I asked Mark if he was all right. I happened to mention that I'd seen you kissing some old man all true. The next minute you're in here telling me the Fowler clan's about to come unstuck. I love it. I love to see you squirming. You really are sweating, aren't you? No, why should I be? Mark might lose his stall. He isn't a danger to anyone. People wouldn't want Ruth looking after their kids. Well, it can't be because Mark's got a crack on the head. Just drop it, Grant. There you go again. I can hear it in your voice. Have I blown it, you're wondering? Well, have you blown it? Nothing to blow. You're positive? Yes. Then why are you acting like a rabbit in a trap? Oh, you wish. Yes, you are. You don't know much I know, do you? If you want to get at me, get at me. Just leave everyone else out of it. What, Mark and Ruth? Everyone. Rattled, aren't you? Not by you, I'm not. Yes, you are. You didn't think, did you? You just came straight in. You don't give up, do you? You know what, Michelle? No, what, Grant? I think you'd do a lot better in the future if you stopped and put your brain into gear before you opened that big mouth of yours. Yeah, well, thanks for that, Grant. But the day I take advice from the missing link is the day I put myself into a padded cell. You know, I'm glad you're not my friend. Well, there's no danger of that, is there? Because you don't think. Just jump in with both feet. You were like that with Sharon. It's called caring about someone, but then you wouldn't know anything about that, would sticking you? your nose in where it's not wanted and I know all about that, because when I was married to Sharon, that's just what you did. Really? Yeah, really. Sticking my nose in. Interfering. If I'd have been really interfering, she'd never have married you in the first place. You weren't wanted by us. Or by you, mate. Or by Sharon. All right, I see. So, because of my interfering, that's why she left you? Yeah. You don't really believe that, do you, Grant? We just needed time to sort things out. There's nothing to sort out. No, well, that was your friendly bit of advice, was what it? What should I have said? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But like tonight, you couldn't leave well alone, could you? If you left me and Sharon alone, I still might have a marriage. You never did have a marriage. Oh, well, you're an expert on marriage now as well, are you? Do you know why you don't like me, Grant? You've got a couple of weeks. You don't like me, because I'm not scared of you. I've never been scared of you. You see, I've seen what you do to people. You bully them, you beat them up, you play the hard man. You want everyone to bow and scrape to you, but not out of respect. She says, they don't, you'll kick the living daylights out of them. And it's always people that are weaker than you, isn't it? You never pick on someone your own size. Now, do you know what that makes you, Grant, hmm? That makes you a coward. Yeah, the really sad thing is, is that Sharon couldn't see it. So she was scared of you too. That's what kept her here all this time. But that's what sent her packing in the end. And the irony is, sorry, Grant, do you know what irony is? 